Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I am so excited. I knew that this is coming. I just didn't know when. So Laminatrix Cosmetics is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette and this is called the Barely Basic Palette. This is the box that it comes in, but look at the packaging, okay? Look at the packaging. I was like, wow, that looks amazing. This is how the palette looks. And if you've not seen the inside, let me show you in all its glory. It comes with a huge mirror and beautiful 20 shade palette yes it's a basic palette but not so basic palette i you know how much i love my neutral tones and this gives me variety textures the sparkliness the shiftiness with basic mattes i love this the retail price of this palette is 64 dollars, which i feel like is an absolutely stunning deal stunning deal like if you see a Natasha Denona palette is like $69. This is $64 and you get 20 shades and such beautiful shades. Like if you compare Natasha Denona with this, I will choose Glamoritics any day, okay? Any day. This is so, so glam, so like special shades. But you also get those like iridescent, like glam, but elegant kind of shade. I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. This actually was like, I think it's like a part two of their, what was that called? Nearly Naturals palette? I don't have that palette with me, but I'm so glad this is in my collection. I am an affiliate with Glaminatrix Cosmetics. My code is Smithy Sony, and you can save 10% off on their website. You can actually purchase this palette right now on their website. I'm going to create two looks that you're seeing on my face right now. And we are also going to do some live swatches because I know that you guys appreciate my live swatches a lot. So if you are ready, let's begin. Let me show you the close up of the palette so that you can see all the action. Elevate your eye look with our newly barely basic palette. This versatile palette includes four sparkly iridescent toppers, four intense metallics and 12 smooth pigmented mattes. Perfect for creating everyday from daytime looks to dramatic evening glam. Use our colorful iridescent toppers to transform your neutral glam into a look that is barely basic. I really love the concept i have always said like i would love if blend bunny cosmetics that they always do these like gradient shades i was always telling in the videos like i would love i know that they do always like these like shimmery shades but if they do that iridescent row it'll be amazing laminatrix did it and i am absolutely loving it the formula is so beautiful let me show you the swatches, okay? So let's dive in. We'll go column by column because I feel like that makes the most sense. So the first one is OOTD. These four are iridescent topper shades and these four are intense metallic shades and then 12 beautiful, beautiful creamy mattes. So OOTD, we have hashtag, leggings, life and holy grail. So let's watch that. Like look how stunning these shades are. is so pretty that's the first column swatched for you guys look at that iridescent multi-chrome duochrome whatever that is like it's so pretty it's like a pink to a green flipping duochrome and that can transform any eye look but if you want to like stay basic but glam at the same time just stick to these four shades and it'll be stunning like this shade is so so beautiful, so sparkly, but so smooth. There's no gritty texture in this palette at all. All of the shades are very, very smooth. And look at this matte. Creamy, 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 creamy. Love it. Let's move on to the next column. Now we have a column of the warm tone shades. Did I also tell you, when I'm doing this look, I'm also going to test out their lip liner, their lipstick, and I'm also going to reuse their uh, liquid blush so excited for all of it <laughs> okay let's start off we have fyp i don't even know what's the form of fyp i'm sure you guys know and then we have viral which is a intense multi-chrome i would say it's a multi-chrome it's so pretty and then we have pumpkin spice comment and review so let's watch that So there you go. Those are the next five shades of the column. Those iridescent duochrome shades. It's so pretty. Look at that multi-chrome. 
they don't even call it a multi-chrome, but it's truly a multi-chrome. This is such a fiery, orangey, shifting shade. And this one is more like a coppery pink green. Such a stunning, stunning shade. So those are the first two columns of the palette. Really, really pretty. Love it. Absolutely love it. Can we fix the next two columns also here? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's move on. Next is Get Ready With Me. Then we have Engagement. We have Scrunchy. Now we are going into that olive column, if you cannot say. It's so pretty. We also have Subscribe and Haul. Such a pretty shade. There you go. And those are the next five shades of the palette. You can see that glowing green to a pink shifting duochrome. And this is such a beautiful metallic. Again, very, very similar to this pink one that we swatched, but it's more like a grungy green. And then, then we have like an olivey yellow poopy green kind of shade. This is a true mid-tone green. And this is like a deep, dark, like army green. Very pretty. This is really, really stunning. Let's move on to the next column. And the next column is truly a neutral row. It's definitely more topy uh, column. <laughs> so let's watch that. So we have DIY. We have follow. Follow looks so stunning. So stunning. Very similar to this one. But this is more like champagne -y and this is more like rosy. Then we have girl dinner which is like the like a brightening shade of the palette so under underneath the brow bone in a corner highlight that will be stunning then we have the shade share and looks so let's watch that this also has a cool tone green shift to it this is such a stunning shade i can see myself using the shade so much the shade follow girl dinner share and looks so those are the last few shades of the palette and that is the entire palette swatched for you guys it's such a beautiful neutral palette you guys can you see this this is such a stunning palette i am so excited for this so excited for this cannot even tell you like this is stunning absolutely stunning now, once you've seen all the swatches in action, let me show you the two looks that I created using this palette. So let's begin. Let's begin with the first look. I've not dipped into this palette as yet and I am so excited. From the packaging to the color story. So basic, but not so basic. I love it, okay? Let's begin. I definitely want to do like a rusty look first. And then, of course, we have to dip into mauves because, you know, that's where my heart lies. So let's do that first, okay? I'm going to start off with the shade Review, this one. And this is this looks like a deep terracotta brown shade. So I'm going to take that in my outer corners. I do not have any primer or anything on my eyelid. And I've just done my face makeup. But I'll do my blush my lips with you guys because I want to show you the other Glaminatrix products too. So look how that's such a beautiful chocolatey brown shade. Love it. And these shades are so pigmented the way I like when I swatched it, I was like, it was so creamy and so blendable. Like I could just feel it. I'm going to just do that on the extreme outer corners of the lower lash line too. And I definitely can do more looks using this palette. For now, we'll settle with two right now. <laughs> Let's take this pumpkin spice shade, this one. And I'm going to start off with my crease and see how deep it is. And does it even show up? Yeah, it definitely shows up. And it definitely can be like a great blending shade for me. Yeah, I'm so happy with that. And this one was the shade Pumpkin Spice. Really beautiful. Going back into Comment Shade. A little bit more deeper shade. And I'm just gonna take that as like a... That's also so pigmented. Can you see that? 
as a middle shade between that lighter pumpkin spice shade and that deeper chocolatey brown shade. Yeah, this can be such a great everyday palette. Like I have no doubts. It's blending like a dream. Just so pretty. Okay, now for the extreme outer corners, I'm gonna take this shade Looks, this one, and I'm gonna take that right in the outer corners just to deepen it out a tad bit more. And this Looks shade, I would say, it's more like a cooler tone, but like a very deep brown shade. So that can definitely deepen out any look in this palette. That is the deepest shade of the palette. And I'm very, very happy with that shade. See, look at that. Instantly, so much more depth. Really pretty. I'm just using as much shades as I can. I want to take this shade, which is subscribe, this one. And I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. Definitely has that green, like an olivey green tint to it. Just right there. Okay, on to shimmers, right? Because I'm dying to use some shimmers here. It's so pretty, so elegant. I cannot even. Okay, I'm going to first start off with the NYX Glitter Glue. Just a little bit. I'm going to start off with this viral shade, this one. And then we'll dip into this shade, which is en engagement. So let's do viral. Viral looks more like a green to a fiery orangey uh, pink shifting shade. So I'm just going to focus that on the extreme outer corner of the lid, just to blend it with that deeper brown shades. Nothing precise or anything just want a blending shade right there and of course finger application would be much more intense look how sparkly that is that's stunning okay i'm gonna go into engagement this is such a beautiful green do you see that pigment that's amazing like amazing that's so pretty i'm gonna go back into that other shade just apply it with my fingers and see if it makes a difference or not the viral shade right there yeah so much more intense just use your fingers or spray your brush that is just so beautiful so beautiful look at that cannot even <laughs> going back into this review shade and just tapping the edges i don't want to lose out on that chocolatey brown shade for sure and you can see that i left my inner third blank that's of course to use another shimmer <laughs> actually i don't want to use these duochrome shades so bad let's take this fyp shade i don't even know what that means this one it looks like white to you guys i know i know i know I'm going to just take it with my brush and then I'm just going to take that. Look how fiery that is. That is so beautiful. I'm going to take that in my inner corners, melt it with that green shade and then just sweep it up to get that fieriness going. Oh, that's such a fiery orange shade. The shifts are unreal. It like it shifts to an orange to a green it's so pretty so pretty okay i'm gonna take this crunchy shade and take that in the inner part of the lower lash line and i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back before i show the final look let's finish off our lips and cheeks too for the cheek i'm gonna use this glaminatrix cosmetics lavish shade on the cheeks because i feel like this would go so well with the palette and I love this formula of Glaminatrix blushes. So I definitely wanted to showcase them again. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty blush brush. And this stays on my vanity, okay? All the shades actually do. This is definitely my most used shade because I tend to do a lot of neutral looks to office. So this definitely is like way, way, way more used. So my face is all powdered. It still doesn't pick up anything from my face such a beautiful neutrally shade 
and I have a lip liner as well as a lipstick from Glaminatrix that they sent with this palette. So I'm going to show you how this looks. This is the lip liner in the shade Fearless, which they asked me to choose a shade and I chose Fearless because I felt like this is more like chocolatey brown shade. And you know how much I love my terracotta chocolatey brown shade. So let's use this and see how it rolls. Definitely more like terracotta but not too deep okay very creamy though definitely can feel like a little bit of stick to it i feel like this would last for a long time it has a hint of pink i don't know if you can see it or not let's apply the lipstick i'm very excited about that lip liner too. i was so so excited the lipstick that i chose was in the shade modest i felt like this was the deepest shade out of the lipsticks and they had a lot of like pink lipsticks, but look at this packaging, okay? Look at this packaging. So luxe. It's a slim bullet lipstick. It's just stunning. The packaging, I was like, wow, they did something with this. So nice. Again, this shade is modest. Let's apply this. Mm, very creamy. Not deep at all. <laughs> very everyday shade to me, I would say. I'm glad I chose this shade because I felt like this was the deepest. Definitely would pair it with more of a deeper lip liner. Just because with my skin tone. But if you're lighter than me, I think you'll really like it. If you like a everyday nudie pink shade, you would absolutely... The formula looks... It feels amazing. Amazing. Okay, let me just pair it up with a deeper lip liner. Just so that it matches with the eye look. I wanted a... I like a good deep lip liner, okay? I feel like that just makes all of the difference. I love it. Love it. Okay, let me show you my first eye look. I love how dimensional the eyes are. It is neutral but special at the same time. I really love Glaminatrix formulas, but their mattes, I feel like it's improved even more. Like, I cannot even tell you. It just blends by itself. It's so rich. It's dramatic. Yes, I do not have anything on this eye, but you can see. Like, that's dramatic but so beautiful and dimensional. I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, let's do something here, okay? Let's start off with the mauves because you know, you know how much I love my mauves. <laughs> let's start off with this leggings shade and see if it shows up at all on me or not. I feel like this is more of like a blending shade to me. So I would like apply it underneath my brow. Yeah, I would say this is like a transitioning shade for me. I'm not going to apply this a lot just because I don't want too much of powders on my lid right now. But yes, that is definitely a, like a blending shade for me. Okay, let's, let's take the shade Like, this one. And I'm going to take this Like shade mainly on the inner part of the crease. Look how beautiful shade it is. It's cool toned, it's mauve everything that I like. Really, really pretty. That's beautiful. Blend it so effortlessly too. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Holy Grail. This one, the deeper burgundy shade of the palette. Tapping off the excess. If you can hear that door chime, that's basically telling me that someone is going out of the door, okay? Cannot help. There's a house full of people here. So they keep going in and out. Look how stunning that is. I like that. Once I have the depth that I'm looking for, I'm taking the same shade on the lower lash line too. Just right there. I'm gonna take that like shade again and just blending the edges. Don't want any harsh edges. And I want to see if it blends beautifully with that burgundy shade, which it absolutely does beautiful i'm gonna also take that right here just to blend the edges again look how seamless the shade blended i love it so pretty so pretty i'm just gonna take the same shade this one like i don't want to mix anything else and i'm gonna take that on my lower lash line too let's stick to this row although this is calling out to me too but let's stick to this row i'm gonna take this shade hashtag now I'm not gonna use any glitter glue on this side and just wanna see if it performs good with the glitter, do, glitter glue or without the glitter glue. So I'm just taking that. Look how vibrant that shade is. It's like a rosy, 
like a rosy mauve sparkly shade so pretty if it's me just going to office i'll be like like in the crease this in the outer corners this all across the island and call it out a day just so pretty oh that's stunning i don't even want to do anything else anyways <laughs> just taking that like shade and just going over the edges just so that there's no abruptness in the shimmers and the mattes and now for the inner part of the eyelid let's take this shade which is OOTD outfit of the day I love it okay let's take that in the inner part of the eyelid and look how stunning that pink is oh so beautiful love it oh i love it so much look at the look at the shift Oof, that's beautiful just melting both of those shades together hashtag and ootd taking the same blending brush with no additional product just blending out the edges and for the inner corners, I want to pop up some other shade. So I'm going to take this shade, get ready with me. This one, GRWM, looks like a cool tone green shade, iridescent green, shifts to a pink. I'm going to take that in the inner corners. Look at Like, just stunning. Just stunning. Look at that. That's so pretty. I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara. And that's my second eye look. I really, really love the way how this turned out too. It's two different vibes all together. Like this is definitely more dramatic, more like glam. I don't know, more earthy, warm tony. And this is like cool tones. That pink is so stunning. And that green iridescent, it pops like crazy so pretty uh the only other thing that i used is for my this eye look the what in the waterline i use this hindash's um eye pencil in the shade intra which is like a chocolatey brown shade and for this eye i used my essence extreme lasting by <laughs> my essence extreme lasting eye pencil in the shade black love so that's what i have i really really love the way how this performed like the colors are the colors and the shades that are chosen in this palette is absolutely amazing. Let me see how many shades I didn't use, okay? There are only four shades that I did not use, so that's these four shades. And I can definitely see myself using these four shades like in my everyday. That is such a neutrally brown look in my opinion. So pretty. Of course, you're going to see all the swatches. I think you've already seen all the swatches. Uh, these two eye looks. You guys let me know. Did you like this palette or not? I'm absolutely loving the vibes of this palette. Actually, you know what this reminded me of? I felt like when they first sneak peeked this sugar and spice palette, I felt like the color story of this would be here. But this, you know, it's such a beautiful palette again. It's a different layout altogether. It's neutral, but with pops of pastels and multichromes here. These two would pair so well together. And if you guys don't know, uh, all the Glaminatrix palettes are magnetic. You definitely can mix and match all the shades and they would look absolutely stunning together. If I can, hold it. Look at that. They would pair so well together. I cannot wait to mix and match these shades to create my custom color story because they have some beautiful shades. You also know that their Rich Romantic palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, I would say. I cannot wait to create my own custom palette with these palettes. Like I am waiting, dying to do that. <laughs> like I am so happy, so happy with this palette. Uh, the packaging is stunning. It's very sparkly, but it is not gritty by any means it's very very smooth but it just when you look at it it feels like it's sparkle uh, but it's 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 very smooth finish comes with a huge mirror so you can travel with it if you're going for a big vacation or if you're going for a smaller vacation you have a smaller palette which you can so basically this is the difference of the palette like just like one column more 
I really like the size of this palette, but I like that we are getting more variety in this palette. So yeah, win-win in both the occasions, okay? <laughs> so that's all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these two eye looks that I created using the Barely Basic palette. I do have a code with Glaminatrix Cosmetics. It is Smithy Sony to save you 10% off. Again, the pre-order opens on 5th of August. You can go to their website and you can purchase the palette. Um, I really am so excited for this. So excited for this. <laughs> I'll leave all the details in the description box below for you guys. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.